Did you guys see the uh, MC Search interview I did? That was great. The I one, saw the one about how I, MC, he said that MC Hammer put the $50,000 yes, hit on him. Yes, I saw that. Dude. Pete said the line that really pissed Hammer off about, you know, Cactus turned Hammer's mother out. Um, and that was the one that really, that really took Hammer over, over, the, over, the, over the edge. But the whole genesis of it for me was twofold. One, he wouldn't battle me, which is petty, but I was, you know, I was 19 years old. Like, so in my, my mentality and how we looked at how we dealt with things in hip hop, you battle. That's not his culture. It's not where he comes from. And even if it is, what does he have to prove to me? MC Search has stories, bro. Yeah. He has that Bushwick Bill joint. Yeah. Yo, I didn't see that one. And the Nas thing was great. Dude, you have to watch I it. I had some funny stuff. He has some go. great, he was around in some certain time periods where you're like, wow, that the one with Nas was great too. Let me tell you, I, one of the reasons why I even respected MC Search back in the days, yeah. Like, cause I ain't gonna lie, I didn't fuck with no white hip hop. I, I listen People to third base. At, I like, I like at third all. Base. No, I'm saying like third base. before third base. This is right. I'm talking like Latin Quarter days. Okay? Oh yeah, yeah, you do. Um, like I ain't really like the Beastie Boys, but they had a couple of joints. Right. Um, and you know, and I mentioned in the interview was that third base was the first what I consider traditional. Hip hop, white, white, hip -hop white rappers, not like gimmicky well, or anything. Yeah, because like, Beastie Boys were more like punk rock rap. Punk rock. They were more traditional. I was, I was a, a, a big hip hop head. I mean, I lived in New Rochelle, but I would go to all of these fucking clubs and parties, and it didn't matter what borough it was. Yeah. And I used to be in the quarters damn near every fucking weekend. Yeah. This nigga MC Search was the only white boy I ever seen in the fucking Latin quarters, yo. Yeah. And he used to be in there on a the regular, dancing, dancing up a fucking storm yeah, and, and with fact, the high top fade, yep. jumping over his fucking leg, all this yeah. type of shit. Yeah, because in fact, the whole beef with they, Go white boy, go white boy. The whole beef, like he, uh, that's who he was. The whole beef with MC Hammer, the way it originally started, was he said that he was like a valet somewhere and MC Hammer pulled up. Right, yeah. And he, Went up to MC Hammer and, and cha challenged him, him yeah. to a dance battle, and MC oh, Hammer was like, New get York the, shit. "Yeah, get the fuck out of here." But that's how hip hop he was. He literally would go to the hottest rapper out and challenge him. This is before he even got on, before he right. even had a deal or whatever. Else. But he was a valet. But Hammer's probably like got to go somewhere, and Hammer's like, "Come right. on, man, you don't want this." <laughs> so, no, so when I no, see him talk, <laughs> I don't I think you want this, on, young blood. Get him, Hammer. You know, he can't be doing the zipper move. It is hard on, shoes. I was he like, yeah, that's that white boy from the quarters. Like, I remember him. Like, yeah. I was like, but if you a valet, you hungry as hell. Hammer's like, I'm coming to go eat some dinner at a steakhouse. He's like, right. come on, Hammer. <laughs> Hammer's like, I'm trying to eat steak, young man. You don't want this. Can't right, this. Hammer. And you know, Hammer's like this. Get him, Hammer. I can't do it, dog. <laughs> I'm trying to do the zipper move. <laughs> You don't want to mess with Hammer, though. The typewriter, I think, is what it's called. The, type, the typewriter, I'm sorry. Oh, the typewriter. Shit. The corn on the cob. I don't know. But Hammer can, this can, Hammer, corn on the cob. Yeah. Hammer can still kill it. Do you see the videos where Hammer's dancing? He's still dope. And after Red Man's interview, yeah. I will never disrespect Hammer. Look, that goddamn MC Hammer, very serious about beef. Y'all motherfuckers laugh and y'all joke about Hammer. No, 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 no. That nigga was deep with niggas. And he used to what anybody who talks shit come to the Bay Area, they was in for it. Because we seen it. I seen it. And he was very serious about beef. Oh, you going to talk about my dancing pants? I see you. And he will whoop a nigga out. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I Shiny did, suits I and all. I did one show, I remember, back in the days with Hammer. Yeah. It was KMEL, Summer Jam, or whatever the right. fuck it was. And, <laughs> yo, his entourage Woo, he really, was something like I never seen yeah, in like, my life. That, like, it was literally... 100 people. More than 100 more than people, 100. probably. Right? That's actually it was how he... Wait, that's actually but it how was he, girls, yeah. guys, gangsters, yeah, dancers. Yeah, everybody. Everybody. No, listen, like I, grew horses. Up, I grew up in the Bay. Hammer. <laughs> we will fight for Hammer. Hyenas. <laughs> Hyenas. Jungler. We will fight this 
Fish is the Game of Thrones! Eagles. Yeah. Fish. King Hammer! Yes! <laughs> Thou must fight for thy honor! <laughs> Do the typewriter! Yo, but 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 see what it represented to me at the time yeah. is yo, this nigga is able to pay all these people. Dude, that's crazy. And that's still how, have that's paper. That's how he ended up going broke. Go, yeah, yeah, I know, time, but at yeah. the time it looked like it looked crazy, this yeah. shit was never going to stop. Yeah. Yeah, and listen, yeah. growing up in the Bay, Hammer was like our hero. It was like, wow, here's someone. It was the first like it was funny cuz people were calling him a sellout and stuff like that cuz he was doing like uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken commercials, yeah, and Pepsi, chicken. Pepsi commercials, yeah. and stuff like that. Or he had his own sneaker. He had like BKs, British Knights, or whatever. Yeah. Are you a sellout? Now everyone strives to do what Hammer did back in the eighties. Yeah, because it was but just something not. New. But, it but was see, something he did different. it. He had his but, own cartoon. Yeah, like, right, man, but I he, watched but the, the way cartoon, he yeah. did it was corny. You see, so everybody now they want to do what he did, but they want to try to do it in a more cool way, in a way that's more cool. And where you still, but can, he still was you the can prototype. Still retain, the prototype. Still the prototype. You can retain your cool though. But see, by the time it was corny, and then by the time he want to be a live nigga, and we get to pump to the bump. Boy, it's pump too to the bump. And late what's sad now. is that song is banging, <laughs> except, for, except for the one where he's in his drawers and he remade it. He did it when he's in, he's in more gangster attire. Oh, the other one, he had that little, little speedo the little, thing. Little, this little speedo and his thing is like, like bumps in the bump. Like, ah, he had his gangster ah. shit though. When he tried to put the hats on, it. oh, like it's all good. Shit. Yeah, it's all good. But though, oh. but 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 after the Red Man interview, I go right on Hammer because they said he is that real, and he he was it was like loaded with dudes. Yeah, man, Hammer was a bat boy for the Oakland A's, man. Yeah. Stanley is his. That, real that's name. how that's how he got his name because I guess people. Uh, he was named after uh, Hank the Hammer. The Hammer Aaron, and Hank Aaron. Hank, Hank Aaron the Hammer. And yeah. what's funny is when I saw the, it's a really good documentary on the Oakland A's. Even Tom Hanks is in it because he from the, they have the documentary on the Oakland A's and how they won the World Series and how they, the whole organization was real grimy with Reggie Jackson before he got to the Yankees. And they were saying when Hammer came around, he's in the documentary, he was so charismatic, they had him announce a game one time. And it was like, who's this little black kid in the, you know, all all chummying up with the owner of the A's? And then mm. he ended up being, you know, Hammer and the whole, yeah, and Hammer's in it. It's a great documentary about the Oakland A's. It's dope as hell. They were gangsters. They were a gangster baseball team. Mm. <laughs> I mean, Oakland is a gangster city. It sure is. I was just there two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. I Oakland ain't no then. joke. I always go back. I mean, I went to school in Berkeley. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? I lived in Berkeley and Oakland for like 10 years. Oh, yeah. And Oakland is starting to, they're trying to gentrify that shit. They're coming. A little bit, they're coming. Because I was going over there like, yeah, they're gentrifying. They're taking that over because of San Francisco being so expensive. Yeah. So San Jose and Man, because Oakland of and the Golden spots. State. Yeah. And the Warriors bringing in all that money. And even yeah. the Giants. Even yeah. though the Giants are on some bullshit. You hear about that? What happened? The Giants owner giving money to that lady from that that hanging lady. What's the lady that's running? Oh, that's San Francisco yeah. Giants. San Francisco. They're 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 calling the uh, owner because they were funding. Huh. They were putting money into um to her. They were supporting her before she even made that statement. Mm. You know, I come to a public hanging. You remember that shit? The oh. lady that just said that shit. 